Question number one. If your vehicle has a mechanical problem. Option A. Signal and pull into the slow lane. Option B. Stop in your lane and put on your hazard lights. Option C. Put on your hazard lights and pull off the road. The correct answer is option C. Because if your vehicle breaks down on a highway, make sure other drivers can see it. Get your vehicle off the road and away from traffic, if at all possible, and turn on your emergency flashes to show that you are having trouble. Question number two. This white sign means you. Option A. May turn left only on a green arrow. Option B. May turn left on a green light when it is safe. Option C. Must wait for the solid green light before you turn left. The correct answer is option B. Because a sign that says to yield means that you must slow down and be ready to stop to let any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian pass before you proceed. After yielding, you may follow the remaining directions on the sign. Question number three. If you see orange construction signs and cones on a freeway, you must. Option A. Slow down because the lane ends ahead. Option B. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. Option C. Change lanes and maintain your current speed. The correct answer is option B. Because as you enter a work zone, signs and message boards will warn you of workers, slow-moving equipment and or closed lanes ahead. You should reduce your speed and be prepared to slow down or stop. Question number four. You must stop at the intersection ahead. Just before the intersection, you have to cross railroad tracks. You should stop before crossing the railroad tracks when, option A, there isn't room on the other side for you to completely cross the tracks. Option B, the crossing is located in a city or town with frequent train traffic. Option C, you are transporting two or more children in a passenger vehicle. The correct answer is option A, because if you need to stop after crossing railroad tracks, wait until you can completely cross the tracks before proceeding. Make sure your vehicle clears the tracks before you stop. Question number five. You may make a left turn on a red light only from A. Option A, one-way street onto a two-way street. Option B, one-way street onto a one-way street. Option C, two-way street onto a one-way street. The correct answer is option B because a left turn against a red light can only be made from a one-way street onto a one-way street. Signal and stop for a red traffic light at the marked limit line. Question number six. Streets and highways are most slippery. Option A, when it has been raining hard for several hours. Option B, when they are clean and dry. Option C, just after it starts to rain. The correct answer is option C, because driving during the first half hour of rainfall is dangerous because roadways become extremely slippery when the water mixes with oil and other chemicals on the road surfaces that have not yet washed away. Use extra caution when driving on slippery roads. Question number seven, you are driving on the freeway behind a large truck. You should drive. Option A, closer behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. Option B, farther behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. Option C, to the right side of the truck and wait to pass. The correct answer is option B because it is necessary to follow farther behind a large truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle because trucks have larger blind spots. Question number eight. When you want to change lanes, you should never. Option A, 
move into another lane while within an intersection. Option B, check your blind spot by looking over your shoulder. Option C, check for other drivers moving into the same lane. The correct answer is option A, because you should never change lanes within an intersection. Before changing lanes, always look over your shoulder to check your blind spot. Be alert to other drivers moving into the same lane. Question number nine. This sign means, option A, you are approaching the end of a divided highway. Option B, you are approaching the beginning of a divided highway. Option C, the road will be slippery ahead. The correct answer is option B, because this sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. Keep to the right of the median divider. Question number 10. Which lane must you be in before making a left turn from a one-way street? Option A. The lane nearest the left curb. Option B. The lane nearest the center of the street. Option C. The lane nearest the right curb. The correct answer is option A. Because when making any turn, turn from the lane closest to the direction you wish to travel into the first available legal lane. If you are making a left turn from a one-way street, this means that you would make the turn from the lane nearest to the left curb. Question number 11. You enter a designated turn lane to make a left turn at an upcoming intersection. There is oncoming traffic. You should, option A, move to the left of the center lane. Option B, signal before you arrive at the intersection. Option C, turn your front wheels to the left to be prepared to turn. The correct answer is option B, because when making a left turn, you should always begin signaling about 100 feet before the turn. You should keep your front wheels aiming straight ahead until it is safe to start your turn. This ensures that you will not be pushed into oncoming traffic if another vehicle hits you from behind. Question number 12. What does this road sign indicate? Option A. Directions for children. Option B. School zone ahead. Option C. Playground area ahead. The correct answer is option B. Because pentagonal signs indicate that you are in or are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. Be aware of children when driving near a school zone and follow posted speed limits. Question number 13. Just like alcohol and other drugs, drowsiness can. Option A. Help you to be a better driver. Option B. Make you feel better. Option C. Impair your judgment. The correct answer is option C, because not getting enough sleep is a cause of poor driving behavior. Just like drugs and alcohol, sleepiness slows reaction time, decreases awareness, and impairs judgment. Question number 14. This yellow signs means option A. The road ahead has many curves. Option B. There is a sharp curve in the road ahead. Option C. The road ahead may be slippery. The correct answer is option C, because this sign indicates that the road ahead may be slippery when wet. Question number 15. To pass on a two-lane road, you should. Option A. Sound your horn as you pass. Option B. Flash your headlights as you pass. Option C. Judge the distance to any oncoming vehicles. The correct answer is option C, because it can be hard to judge the speed of oncoming vehicles. They do not always seem to be coming as fast as they really are. Always be sure you can safely change lanes when passing on a two-lane street. If you are not sure of an oncoming vehicle's speed, wait to pass until the oncoming vehicle has passed 
and you are sure there is enough space for you to change lanes safely. Question number 16. When you see this sign, you should stop and Option A. Check for vehicles only in the direction that you plan on going, then proceed. Option B. Let all vehicles that arrive before or after you go first. Option C. Check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. The correct answer is option C. Because at a stop sign, you must come to a full stop and check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. Question number 17. When can you drive in a bike lane? Option A. 30 minutes after sunset or 30 minutes before sunrise. Option B. On foggy days when visibility is low. Option C. 200 feet before making a turn. The correct answer is option C. Because when you are making a right turn, you must enter the bicycle lane no more than 200 feet before the corner or driveway entrance. Do not drive in the bicycle lane at any other time. Question number 18. When should you yield your legal right of way? Option A. Often, even at controlled intersections. Option B. Whenever it helps prevent collisions. Option C. Never. It confuses other drivers. The correct answer is option B. Because never assume other drivers will give you the right of way. Yield your right of way whenever it helps prevent collisions. Question number 19. Signs with orange backgrounds are Option A. General warning signs Option B. Construction and maintenance warning signs Option C. Regulatory signs The correct answer is Option B, because the color orange is used only for construction and maintenance warning signs. Question number 20. Night driving presents unique problems because Option A. The speed limit is increased at night. Option B. There are fewer cars on the roads at night. Option C. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. The correct answer is option C. Because night driving creates a unique set of problems for drivers. Due to the reduced visibility, it can be difficult to judge distance and the traveling speeds of other vehicles when driving at night. Drivers can see only as far as their headlights allow. Question number 21. Your driving lane is next to a bicycle lane. You want to make a right turn at the upcoming intersection. You. Option A. May not enter the bicycle lane to make your turn. Option B. Should only merge into the bicycle lane if you stop before turning. Option C. Must merge into the bicycle lane before making your turn. The correct answer is option C. Because when you are making a right turn, you must enter the bicycle lane no more than 200 feet before the corner or driveway entrance. Do not drive a motor vehicle in the bicycle lane at any other time. Question number 22. What does this road sign mean? Option A. Slow down and prepare to stop if cars are approaching you. Option B. Come to a full stop, then proceed when it is safe to do so. Option C. Proceed carefully through the intersection, not always stopping. The correct answer is option B, because an octagonal sign always means stop. When approaching a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop at the marked stop line and proceed only when it is safe to do so. If there is no stop line, stop before the crosswalk. If there is no crosswalk, stop before the intersection at a point from which you can see any oncoming traffic. Question number 23. You can drive off the road to pass another vehicle. Option A. If the vehicle ahead is turning left. Option B. If there are two or more lanes traveling in your direction. Option C. 
under no circumstances. The correct answer is option C. Because you may never drive off the paved or main travelled portion of the road and onto the shoulder to pass another vehicle. Question number 24. This sign is a warning that you are approaching option A, an intersection, option B, a crosswalk, option C, a railroad crossing. The correct answer is option C. Because a round sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing. This sign is posted a few hundred feet in front of the tracks and tells drivers to slow down, look, listen, and prepare to stop.